Hello heroes, Joe Smith here. Back last November 6th, James O'Keefe, founder and reporter for Project Veritas news organization, which is probably a more trusted news source than CNN, was raided by the FBI in a pre-dawn raid and arrested on felony counts. So Smith actually done a video about this back in the time, back after it happened. Uh, recorded it that night for uh, going home, up and to go to bed, and then uploaded it, and then woke up next morning to find out it had been deleted, and that Joe Smith had a two-week ban from YouTube for it. Which sounds crazy. Report on a pre-dawn FBI raid of a news reporter and get a two-week ban from YouTube. Okay, well, here's the rest of the story. He supposedly, allegedly, according to FBI and other news sources, if you want to call them news sources, got raided because he... Previously had in possession a book. Yes, a book, a stack of papers. So uh, he got arrested for felonies because he had like, what, five or ten dollar book? Well, apparently some of those felonies was because he carried that book across state lines. Yes, state lines! You know, like Kyle Renhouse was accused of carrying a gun across state lines? Oh, well, James O'Keefe supposedly carried a book, a book, across state lines. So yes, carry a 5 or $10 book across state lines and get pre down raid and arrested for felonies by the FBI. Welcome to America. Okay, well, apparently this book wasn't just any ordinary book. In fact... He didn't know if it was some sort of hoax or if it was actually real. He did obtain this book or purchase it from someone that had it for sale. He looked through it. He didn't know if it was real. He couldn't verify if it was real. He thought maybe it was fake. He turned it over to his local police and then some several months later... Uh, he gets raided by the FBI and arrested for felonies. Gets woken up in the middle of the night, pre dawn raid, and arrested in his underwear. Oh, what's so goddamn important about this book to warrant an FBI pre dawn raid and felony charges? Was this one of those banned Dr. Seuss books? Was this a catcher in the rye? Was this the anarchist cookbook? And no, it was allegedly a diary. But as he had as James O'Keefe, Mr. James O'Keefe has said numerous times, he didn't know if it was real or if some sort of hoax someone was trying to pull. Uh, he contacted uh, people surrounding the alleged original owner, but said, hey, I got this diary. I think it might belong to you or someone you know, someone you work with. And they all said, oh, we're, we don't want it. He wasn't trying to sell it back. He wasn't asking for money. He said, it's like, hey, I got this from a guy, and I don't know if it's, like, really yours or not, but if it is, uh, I'll give it back to you. And they were all like, well, no, it's not ours. We're not interested. We don't want it. So he's like, okay. Uh, and because he's a trusted news source,
They didn't know if what was wrote in it was real or not. He never published anything that was in there. Uh, risk of being wrong. You know, unlike CNN. So he turned over to the police. Said, hey, I don't know if this is stolen. Don't know if this is fake. Don't know if this is hoax. Don't know if anything in here might be illegal that should be investigated. And then some months later, it found its way to the FBI, and they got warrants to raid his home and pre-dawn raid and arrest him on felony counts. Well, the book, the diary, allegedly, allegedly, supposedly, belonged to Ashley Biden, daughter of current president, Mr. Joe Biden. He tried giving it back. They said, no, not her, don't want it. So he turned over to the police. He hasn't really disclosed much about what he read in it because, like, like Joe Smith already said, he wasn't sure if it was a hoax or real or not. But he did comment on, uh, when he was a guest with Tim Pool on Timcast, that it had all sorts of crazy stuff in there. He even talked about Joe Biden and Ashley showering together, he said, on the uh, episode that Tim Pool did with him. And you can guess what else it might say on there, but Joe Smith made a little speculation in the original video, and that's how Joe Smith got banned. Again, it was just speculation at the time. So, not going to speculate about what else it is, just stating some facts here. Just saying what James O'Keefe said on Tim Pool and Tim Cass episode. This is a fact. You go back to the one or a couple that he was on and watch them again and re-listen um, in the past few months. I don't know how many times he's been on, at least once, maybe twice. And he talked about that, and he said that it mentioned Ashley showering with her dad, Joe. And it, he didn't mention anything else about it, just said that it had a bunch of other crazy stuff. He didn't know if it was true or not. He didn't even know if this was true or not, so this may not be true. But... Seriously doubt James O'Keefe is going to say something that he did not read, but whether or not what he read was actually wrote by Ashley, that's yet to be determined. So the entire book may be fake or hoax or something. And what he read in there, and whatever else he read in there, may just be all fabricated by some hoaxer. So this isn't meant to be taken seriously, it's still kind of speculation. But doubt he's making up anything that he didn't actually read in there, whether it's real or a hoax. But again, if it's a hoax, why is the FBI doing pre dawn rain and arresting him on felonies for transporting a book across state lines? And what else is actually in there? Central Smith speculating. Let you use your imagination. Maybe it talked about how they're going to win the vote and get the election. Don't know. Speculation. Maybe, like, you know, campaign strategies. Not not saying the election was fraud. Maybe it's just talk about some campaign strategies in there. Maybe it talked about some other friends that Joe Biden had. Maybe it talked about Hunter's paintings. 
and how talented of an artist Hunter is. I mean, he talked about the vacations, you know, like to Disneyland and stuff that Hunter takes. It's a Disneyland in Russia and China, right? Again, it's speculation whether or not that's a legit diary or not, and whether it actually was owned or written by Ms. Biden. And what's in it, it's still speculation too. Very well maybe a hoax. Very well be maybe fake, but it's all fake, it's all hoax. Let's do a Joe Biden impersonation here. If it's fake, if it's a hoax, why did the FBI do a pre dawn raid and arrest him on felonies? Thanks for watching. Joe Smith sign out.